E complement. It has a neighborhood that completely separates it from E complement. So could this point be a limit point of E complement? No. Therefore, E complement contains all its limit points. Happy? Okay, so for any x and e, x is not a limit point of c. Is not a limit point of e c, the e complement. Because if it were an, a, a, a limit point of e complement, any neighborhood of x should contain a point of e complement, and this one doesn't. So this is the same as saying e contains e complement contains all its limit points. And notice, uh, of course, I wrote this in a uh, with all the implications bidirectional. You can check that the same proof works backwards. So um, we have uh, E's open if its complement, if and only if its complement is closed. Yes. All right. So complements of closed sets are open. Complements of open sets are closed. What can we say about unions of open sets? There's a question. Uh, let me, um, I think I'm going to uh, erase this board. What can I say about the union of open sets? Is the union of two open sets open? Really? Why? Paul? Oh, you had a question, okay. Um, yes. If the question was if a set is clopen, is its complement also clopen? Yes. So, for instance, you know a clopen set? R in R. So if you have a in the metric space R, if you consider all the points, that's clopen. What's its complement? The empty set. Is that clopen? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Do you know any other clopen sets in R? Is that clopen? I don't think that set is a uh, open set. It's closed. It's not open. What's that? Is are the rationals op an open set? Well. You, to ask if it's clopen means to ask if it's closed and open. First of all, is a rational set of rationals a closed set? No, why not? It doesn't contain all its limit points, right? You can approach the square root of 2 using rational points, right? Okay. So it's not closed. Are the rationals an open set? If I perturb a rational, will I necessarily remain rational? No. Or, if you like, is around any rational, can I find an open set consisting only of rationals? No. So the rationals are not uh, an open set either. They're neither closed nor open. Which also means, I guess, their complement's neither closed nor open, right? By that theorem. OK, good. So let's talk about the unions of uh, open sets and closed sets. Um, is the union of two open sets open? Yes, why? Give me an argument. Jenny? Very good. Every point of a union of two open sets was interior to one of the sets. So it's true then in the union of the two sets that every point is going to be interior to their union. Right, because it has a neighborhood around it completely contained in one of those two sets, and therefore contained in both of those sets. Okay, what if I take a union of infinitely many open sets? Is that still open? There's a question. How many people say, yes, it's necessarily open? How many people say, no? Okay, not enough uh, people voting here. Let's see. If I take the union of infinitely many open sets, is it necessarily open? What about, what about uh, closed sets? Is a union of two closed sets closed? 
Union of two closed sets closed. Yes. Okay. Um, we should be able to come up with an argument for that, but most of you believe it's yes, right? What about the union of infinitely many closed sets? Is that necessarily closed? No. Some of you have probably have some examples here. So here's the question about unions and intersections. Um, let's look at some examples here. Maybe this would be uh, illuminating. Suppose I look at the, the following sets, ki, which would be uh, the closed intervals uh, minus, um, let's say, 1 over i. I don't know why I chose the letter i, but OK. It's just harder to write. Uh, minus 1 over i to 1 over i. That's a closed interval, like so, yes? centered around 0, so 1 half to minus 1 half. This would be k2, yes? Happy with that? k3 would be, oh, I don't know if I like this one. Yeah, so let me do this. Let's go from minus 1 plus 1 over 2i to uh, 1 minus 1 over i. That's the example I wanted. So this is still k2, but k3 goes from 2 thirds to 1 third. Uh, sorry, uh, minus 2 thirds to positive 2 thirds. That's k2, this is k3. k4 is a little bigger. k5 is a little bigger. Get the picture? It's 1 fifth away from 1 and minus 1. Now, suppose I take the union of all the ki's. i goes from 1 to infinity. This notation means union all the things for, for all the k's. What do you get? What set is this if I union all these closed sets? Basically, I get anything from 1 to minus 1 except 1 and minus 1. Are they ever in any of these sets? No. So in fact, uh, here you get minus 1 to 1, uh, a set that happens to be not closed. So here we have the infinite union of a bunch of closed sets that is not closed. So uh, this perhaps points out that we should be a little careful okay, with applying arbitrary unions. Hmm. OK, well, let's, let's see if we can prove some things. So let me prove a little lemma. So uh, l suppose I have a bunch of, uh, here's a collection of sets. I'll call it E. Why did I, uh, what am I indicating when I subscript it with alpha? There might be uncountably many in our collection. And if you want, you could also just tell people that you're taking from some index set A if you want, but you don't have to. This, this is enough to signify we're taking a possibly uncountable collection. Uh, I claim the following is true. This, will be, this fact will be useful. If you take the union of a bunch of sets, possibly uncountable collection, and I take its complement, I claim this is related to the complements of each of the sets in some way. Do you know um, how it's related? It's the intersection of all the complements, yes. So if you like, really, what we're saying is the complement of a union is the intersection of the complements. Very important fact. Let's prove this. This is not too hard to see why it's true. So let's just. To show that these two sets are the same, you just have to show that if x is in one side, then x is in the other side and vice versa. Yes? Good. So suppose I take a point on the left-hand side. LHS here will signify left-hand side. I claim x is in the left-hand side.